Well, it would appear that rebellion is afoot in the Tory government and it is all over a set of traffic lights. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Monday, the start of another week. Hope yours is okay, albeit it's still quite early yet, so uh, time will tell. I've just come back from Gatwick, Gatwick Airport, and it was really busy. I did uh, probably another three airport runs to Gatwick Airport over the course of the weekend, and again, the place was packed. It was getting near like it used to be in the old days before we all got landed knee deep in the shit by the old Kung Flu, Vinda Flu, or whatever variant there is this week. Well, to me, it's encouraging, very encouraging indeed that that's happening because Gatwick is one of the airports that really suffered throughout this whole thing. I hardly ever went there and when you looked at the flight arrivals board, there was literally half a page of planes throughout the whole day compared with what it used to be. So we're getting to a situation where people are more confident, more confident that they can go on holiday, enjoy themselves and not have too much rubbish when they come back. That is until we get more nonsense off the government with their traffic light system where they're now talking about a so-called amber watch list whereby countries at any moment with very little notice at all could be dumped on the red. There's even talk of that happening with Spain already and people being chucked into hotel quarantine when they come back at the cost of £1,700 a person with very, very little warning at all. But some of the Tories, led by old Rishi, are having none of it. Check this out. In a time where at least 17 more countries could be added to the green list, given as a major boost, this amber watch list will be more trouble than it's worth. And Rich is quite right in what he's saying. It will devastate the travel industry even more than it is already. And the simple reason for that is we only have a limited amount of time every year, probably between, I say, March to mid to late October that we make all our money for, you, for the year. That's when people go on holiday. And if they do this and put another spoke in the wheel, so to speak, it's going to overcomplicate matters, ruin confidence, and no one's going to want to go again. So they really are playing silly buggers. And I can't see Boris winning this one if he tries to push it through. I will keep an eye on this, of course, and let you know what happens, if it happens, and when it happens. But let's just keep our fingers crossed that Richie, sitting there banging his drum saying it's not going to happen, hopefully will be convincing enough that it won't be. And in a time where Boris's approval ratings are apparently slumping, because of him trying to dodge the old uh, isolation from the Kung Flu, he needs to be very careful where he treads, doesn't he? Anyway, I'm off, and I'll see you later with another video. This is the Gabby Cabby, signing off. Toodaloo!